How do I get into the IT field? Part 2. In this video, I'll try to provide some helpful tips. Hey YouTubers, welcome to the Cyber Overwatch channel. I'm Pragmatic One, and in this video, I will be providing some suggestions on how to get into the IT field. I'll be sharing some essential strategies to help you maintain good health and avoid burnout, particularly as you embark on a career in IT. Drawing on my own experiences, I'll offer insights into how your past work experience can support your transition into this field. I'll also discuss the role that certifications and degrees can play in advancing your career prospects, as well as the importance of networking and skill building. If you find this information helpful and you're passionate about IT, please like and subscribe to the Cyber Overwatch channel to stay updated on my latest insights and content related to the industry. As someone that has been working in IT and cybersecurity for 22 years, I am constantly learning and improving my skills. While I may not consider myself an expert, I have a wealth of experience and knowledge that I want to share with you through this video. My hope is that the guidance I provide can be of use to you as you pursue your career in this field. It is important to remember that the IT field is constantly evolving and there is always more to learn. Whether you are just starting out or have been working in the field for years, there is always room for growth and development. I encourage you to embrace the mindset of continuous learning and improvement as it will serve you well in this field. Now that we got that out of the way, uh, let me see if I can provide you some helpful tips. One keep yourself healthy. It's important to remember that setbacks and challenges are a natural part of any journey and it's how we respond to them that ultimately determines our success. By maintaining a positive mindset and focusing on your goals, you can stay motivated and keep moving forward. Writing down your goals is an excellent way to stay focused and remind yourself of what you're working towards. By setting both short-term and long-term goals, one month, six months, you can break down larger objectives into more manageable tasks and track your progress over time. It's also important to continue learning and growing both within in the field of expertise and beyond. Engaging in activities that enrich your mind, such as reading, taking courses, or pursuing hobbies can help you get inspired and energized. Finally, reframing setbacks as learning experiences can help you approach challenges with a growth mindset. Instead of dwelling on failures or mistakes, look for opportunities to learn and improve. Reaching out to potential employers for feedback after an interview is a great example of this kind of proactive approach. Remember, success is not about never encountering obstacles or setbacks, but about persevering through them and continuing to grow and improve. Number two, apply your past experience to the IT field. Leverage your past work experience and volunteer work. Show the steps taken to improve your technical skills and knowledge. Highlight soft skills. There are a lot of skills that transfer well to IT. Courses taken, certifications achieved. Document the technical knowledge and skills gained, especially if you took courses on programming, database management, cybersecurity, cloud computing, projects you worked on. You can showcase your experience and skills gained by building your own projects. Start with small projects like creating a personal website or GitHub. Participation in online forums and communities. Highlight any online forums or communities related to your field of interest that show you are actively involved. Highlight events attended. If you attended conventions, local events, meetups related to IT, this will give you an opportunity to show your involvement and passion for IT. Volunteer work for IT related projects. Highlight any IT volunteer work for organizations such as helping a nonprofit set up a website or managing their social media accounts. This will allow you to showcase any gained hands on experience and skills. Lab experience. Any experience with personal lab labs or virtual labs like Try Hack Me, Hack the Box, Range Force, or CTFs, etc. Be sure to highlight that experience. Be open to entry-level roles. When starting out in the IT field, it's important to be open to entry-level roles. These positions may not be your dream job, but they can provide valuable experience and help you get your foot in the door. Remember to highlight your soft skills, technical skills, and any related experience or projects when applying for IT roles. Employers are often looking for candidates who can work well in a team, communicate effectively, and have passion for learning and problem solving. Number three, earn industry certifications. Getting certified can be an efficient way to break into the IT field. Unlike a degree, which can take several years to complete, certifications can be studied for and earned in just a few weeks if you prepare well. While there are debates about the value of certifications, they can certainly help you get through the initial HR screening process and secure an interview. Certifications were actually how I got my foot in the door as I didn't have an opportunity to attend a four-year university as a young adult. It's worth noting that not all entry-level jobs in IT require certifications, such as help desk analysts. However, having certifications can give you an edge over other candidates and demonstrate your commitment to the field. Once you've secured an interview, it's up to you to show up and knock it out of the park. Remember to emphasize your technical skills, soft skills, and any relevant experience or projects you have worked on. It is also important to keep up with industry trends and continue learning new skills to stay competitive in the field. Having certifications can be an effective way to demonstrate your skills to potential employers, especially if you don't have any relevant work experience. It can also give you an edge over other candidates 
who lack certifications or have limited experience. For some roles, being certified can place you higher in the pool of applicants than without any certifications. Moreover, being certified can open up more entry-level opportunities in the IT field, which can be helpful if you want to explore different career paths. This can give you more options and flexibility when it comes to choosing your first IT job. What are good certifications for entry-level opportunities? To initially get your foot in the IT door, I will not say you need certification. Certifications will help you most effectively though. A good idea is to go with general base certifications such as CompTIA A+, CompTIA Security+, CompTIA Net+, and for extra credit, you could go with the ITIL Foundation and the Python Institute Certified Entry Level Python Program. Number four, getting certified. To effectively prepare for a certification, it is important to thoroughly research the exam objectives. One way to do this is to visit the website of the certifying organization, such as CompTIA, and review the exam objectives. There are several preparation methods available, including self-study, certification programs, also known as boot camps, that provide in-person training, virtual instructor-led training, and online on-demand training. It's important to find the preparation method that works best for you, both mentally and financially. While some people may benefit from a course taught by an expert with real-world experience, others may prefer to study from the comfort of their own home. It is also important to not let financial constraints prevent you from pursuing your certification goals and to explore free resources available online. Some people cannot afford to pay $1,000, $3,000, $5,000 for a five-day boot camp. Some people study, learn, and absorb information better from the comfort of their own home. Find out what works best for you without putting yourself in a mental or financial disadvantage. In a future video, I may discuss effective certification preparation methods that has worked for me. After completing your studies and feeling prepared, the next step is to purchase the exam voucher for the certification from the organization website such as CompTIA and schedule a day to take your exam. The process for this can vary depending on the certification vendor. Some may require you to take the exam at a designated testing center such as Pearson View, while others may allow you to take your exam online from the comfort of your own home. It's important to carefully review the vendor's requirements guidelines to ensure you understand the process and can plan accordingly. Additionally, be sure to check if there are any prerequisites or eligible eligibility requirements for the certification you are pursuing, as these can vary as well. Number five, a degree is a big asset. While a degree is not always necessary for a career in IT, it can be a valuable asset. Many employers tend to prefer candidates with a four-year degree regardless of the field of study. It is important to emphasize how your degree can be applied in transitioning into an IT career. For example, a literature major may possess strong communication and problem-solving skills, while a philosophy major may have a unique approach to problem-solving. By highlighting these skills, you can differentiate yourself from other candidates who have only technical experience. Even if you lack technical skills, you can still showcase your soft skills that you gained from achieving your degree. 6. Keep an open mind about entry-level jobs. Don't be afraid to work your way up from the bottom. If you are new to the IT field or transitioning from another field, it is important to keep in mind that you may have to start at an entry-level position and work your way up. Even if you are a manager, director, or architect in another field, you may need to begin with an entry-level job to gain experience and improve your skills. However, this should not discourage you from pursuing your career in IT. It can be helpful to reflect on why you decided to transition to IT and stay positive throughout the process. It's important to understand that gaining experience in an entry-level position can be invaluable as you progress in your IT career. Additionally, the earning potential potential in IT is significant and depends on the effort you put in. For example, a help desk position may offer a starting salary of around $40,000 per year, while after five years of experience and a few cybersecurity certifications, you could earn at least $65,000 per year as a cybersecurity analyst. To succeed in IT, you must be motivated to learn and put in the extra effort to master your craft. This may involve working on labs, reading IT books, watching YouTube videos about IT, or obtaining certifications. Education about the IT field shows your commitment to your new career and can help you stand out from other applicants. While you may not be able to jump to the top of the ladder without experience, with dedication and the right credentials, you can quickly climb to higher paying and more specialized position in IT. Number seven, networking can greatly improve your chances. Networking is a great way for getting your foot in the door and advancing in the IT industry. Having connections in the IT field who are willing to vouch for you or take a chance on you can help you find a job opportunity more quickly. LinkedIn is a great platform to build your professional network and find job openings. It's the world's largest professional network on the internet and you can use it to connect and strengthen professional relationships, find the right job or internship, and learn the skills you need to succeed in your career. Attending IT meetups, conventions, conferences, and job fairs is another way to build your network and connect with potential 
potential employers. It's also an opportunity to learn about the latest trends and advancements in the IT industry. Remember that many job openings get filled by referrals, so it's crucial to make connections and build relationships with people who can vouch for your skills and work ethic. Finding a mentor in the IT industry can be also incredibly helpful in guiding your career and providing valuable insight and advice. A mentor can offer you guidance on how to navigate the industry and achieve your goals. The right connection can give you a significant advantage over the competition and provide motivation you need to succeed in the IT industry. Number eight, learn relevant tech skills and gain experience. Continuous learning is a crucial aspect of a successful career in IT. Technology is constantly evolving, and to stay up to date, you must keep learning and improving your skills. There are numerous areas of expertise to explore, from operating systems, office suites, virtualization, and compliance regulation, to programming languages such as Python. YouTube is an excellent resource for finding free tutorial videos to learn new skills and reinforce old ones. Google is a great tool to search for websites that specialize in the field you are interested in. If you are on a budget, look for free content or create an account on online learning platforms such as Cyberary or INE. IT vendors such as Microsoft, AWS, Cisco, and VMware have virtual academies on their technology that you can access. You can also purchase books and training material on IT to deepen your knowledge. One of the best ways to apply your learning is by building and working on your personal lab. Sign up for vendor lab platforms from companies like TryHackMe, HackTheBox, or RangeForce, among other sources, to develop hands-on experience. Another way to enhance your skills and build a network is by volunteering your time and skills. You can offer to set up a small office, home office network, or troubleshoot laptops at a nonprofit organization. This experience can add to your resume and make a significant difference in your job search. To summarize, in the IT industry, your ability to learn and adapt to new technologies and work independently is critical. Keep expanding your knowledge by learning new skills, practicing them in your personal lab, and looking for volunteer opportunities to apply them. By following these tips, you'll position yourself to advance your career and stay relevant in the ever-changing field of IT. It's now time for the conclusion of this video. I will finish off by saying, by implementing these tips, you can significantly improve your chances of breaking into the IT field and building a successful career. The IT field is relatively easy easier to transition to than other fields, mainly due to the fewer requirements for entry-level positions. The suggestions that I've provided are based on my personal experience and research, and it's up to you to use this information to achieve your goal of getting into the IT field. If you have any questions or need guidance, feel free to leave a comment or send me an email to the address listed in the video description. Additionally, I have provided some resources that may help you on your journey, such as free online training platforms, IT meetups, vendor-specific virtual academies. This is my first video on the Cyber Over watch channel and I plan on creating more content that is focused on cybersecurity and other IT topics. I will cover a variety of subjects including my favorite topic, offensive security. If you have found this video helpful and want to learn more about cybersecurity and IT, please like and subscribe to the Cyber Overwatch channel. Thank you for watching and I wish you the best of luck in your exciting journey into the world of IT.